Hello, in this Web Development Basics, we're going to look at what's called the, the comma um, selector, um, which is often referred to as the element element selector in CSS. So I have a really simple example here set up. Essentially what it is is I've made a table using this table tag, and the way you can set up a table really quickly is, I'm just going to put some tabs in here, is you have your open table tag, you have your closed table tag, um, you have table row, which is TR, and then TH is table head. So that's kind of like your title bars, and then you have another table row, and then you have your data, data all your data in each of the um, table data. So if we come and look, just to make sure we understand this, how this is set up, your table is the entire piece here. This is your TH. There's your second TH. And then I have a new row in data, 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 data. Now, if we look at the CSS for this, you'll see that I have CSS to define the table. I have CSS to define the table data. And I have CSS to define the table header. And this is fine and it works. But one thing you might observe is that we have the same CSS in every case. Well, if we want to apply CSS to multiple elements, um, what I can do now is I can actually use the comma selector. So I'm just going to come up here, I'm going to say table, comma, tr, comma, t, d, and save that. And what you'll notice is there's been, oh, that should be thdd, pardon me, <laughs> thdd, save that, there we go. And you'll notice that there's been no change in the actual layout, because I haven't actually changed any of the CSS that's being applied. It's just simply a way of actually applying the same CSS to multiple elements is to use the comma selector. Now, just a note, I can still apply customized CSS to each of these elements. So I could say TD, and I could do something like, um, actually, let's do TH. TH, and we're going to say um, font size is 20px. So I've decided that I want my font and my table header to be a little larger, and I come in here, and so I get a little bit of larger font. But this comma selector is really useful when you want to apply the same CSS multiple elements. I hope that video helped. Have a great day.